Today we gave you this case study involving an elderly female patient who's been confused, lethargic, and febrile over the past 48 hours according to the caregiver. So let's break it down. Okay, so this patient is confused, lethargic, and has a low-grade fever of about 38.8 or 101. And has been drinking or eating properly, so we kind of have a pretty dehydrated patient. She's been waking up at night, thinks she needs to urinate frequently, and her vitals include the heart rate 110, respiratory rate 22, blood pressure is low, Blood glucose is 2.8 or 50 milligrams per deciliter. Uh, SpO2 is 96% and her skin is warm to the touch. So what could be causing all of this going down? One likely cause here is the hypoglycemia. Her blood sugar is low, which alone can cause confusion, lethargy, and altered mental status, especially in elderly patients. Another concern is her fever. Low-grade fevers in elderly patients can sometimes indicate an underlying infection, such in this case is a urinary tract infection given the fact that she's getting up constantly to try and urinate at night. UTIs can lead to confusion in older adults and is known as delirium secondary to infection, so it's something that we need to take in consideration, especially if we still have the confusion when we correct the blood sugar. Okay, let's talk about the vital signs. So what we see here is we have a low blood pressure, 98 on 64. It's on the borderline of hypotension, but take into consideration that she has tachycardia as well at 110 beats per minute. So this could indicate her dehydration or possibly sepsis, which is something we need to look at. Her blood glucose is 2.8 millimoles, which is quite low, and that's something that we need to address immediately and probably the first thing that we should address. So the best option in this situation is to administer oral glucose if she's still conscious, able to swallow, follow commands. If not, we can move to IV dextrose, uh, D10 or D50 boluses, depending on the protocols. And given the fact that we're going to hydrate this patient with fluids because of her dehydration and possible sepsis, that we're going to be doing an IV anyway. So using sugar from an IV route is not a bad thing either. Now, this is important that we need to make sure that we need to not ignore the fact that there possibly is an underlying UTI. Anytime you have possible infections, you need to look at SIRS criteria to see if this we need to start treating this patient like a septic patient. And in this case, we have an elevated heart rate, we have an elevated respiratory rate, we have a low blood pressure, and we have an elevated temperature. So there's enough here to suggest that this patient does need fluids. And luckily, we're giving this for dehydration already, but this is also going to support the treatment of the possible systemic infection that's going on. So to sum up, this patient is likely experiencing confusion due to the combination of hypoglycemia and possibly the underlying UTI. Her vitals show some concerns like low blood pressure, tachycardia, and the fever. And the treatment starts with treating the hypoglycemia, rehydrating her, as well as starting fluid treatments for the possible SIRS or sepsis. If you want to see world-class speakers, get hands-on training, and see the latest in EMS technology, then you need to be at FastCan Conference 2025, September 2nd to 4th at the BMO Center, downtown Calgary. Learn more and register today at the link in our bio.